We thank God for them and thank God for them serving us. Amen today. Thank God for all you that showed up today. Thank God for you coming out and being with us on this Christmas morning. Amen. We just thank God for what he's doing. All right, I don't hold you any longer. Amen. Praise God. All right. Amen. Not to hold you any longer, praise God. Uh, let us, amen, go uh, to our lessons for the day. And we want to share with you, amen, um, Christmas gifts. Amen. What Jesus came to give us. Amen. Uh, I got too many legs. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. Uh, Christmas gift. what Jesus came to give us. Yes. A lot of times, we want to talk about what we get. Somebody say amen. amen. And not about what Jesus came to give uh, us. Yeah, come on. Amen. So we're going to talk about the greatest gift you will ever get. Uh -huh. And I know right now, many of you are sitting back now going to my, well, I remember back when I got that bicycle. Yeah. Or that easy bait. Uh -huh. well, that easy bait anymore, but I'm telling my age now, right? Somebody say amen. amen. Or whatever that gift, that dress, or whatever that you got, right? Uh, you consider it the greatest gift that you ever got. Amen. How many right now, as you can call out right now, what is what is what in your heart and mind been your greatest gift? Life. My, I already said mine was the bicycle. Life. Amen. Life. Amen. Okay, what else? Uh, come on, let's, if we in church now, let's be real. I don't know about my son life. But what's a gift you got you thought was your best gift you ever got? A, what, a car? Uh, I'll be honest now, tell the truth. A stealer sleep set. Okay, all right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we know, we understand about getting great gifts. How many of you felt good when you know you gave somebody a good gift? Amen. Amen. Somebody yes. say amen. amen. You know you showed out on this one. Amen. Uh, some of y'all laughing and smiling, right? Amen. amen. And, and, and then you showed out and gave them a great gift, and they act like they didn't. Or oh, you gave a child a great gift and they play with the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. And sometimes that's what we do with the greatest gift God ever gave us. Was eternal life. Yes. Amen. And we play with the box, which is our bodies. We do what we want to with them. Mm -hmm. Take them anywhere. Yes. Use them how we want to use them. Uh -huh. Put what we want in them. I'm not getting a whole lot of Amen. Some of you are lying, some of you are like, you know, you're telling the truth. Amen. amen. But we will talk today about, real quickly, amen, the greatest gift you will ever get. Yes. The greatest gift you will ever get. Now, in John 3 16, let's read it together. One, two, three. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believed in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. I think from from a from a young age, like these young children here today, everybody remember uh, memorizing what John three sixteen. Yeah. But what a powerful uh, 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 information that God wants us to understand. Uh -huh. That God loved the world. We are in the world. We are the world. Uh -huh. Amen. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believed in Him should not perish. Amen. That that alone, amen, accused uh, enough of me, praise God, to get joy. Amen. No matter what I'm facing today, I'm not going to perish. Amen. I heard say, uh, Pastor Jones, I'm here. I might be in aching pains and I might be feeling this and feeling that, but I'm still here. Amen. 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 Who said we should not perish, but have what? Amen. Everlasting amen. life. And all I have to do is believe in you. Amen. 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 Romans 8 32 says, Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for who? Oh. Then we cannot expect, then can we not expect that with him, God will do what? Free Give us what? All his gifts. Some of his gifts. All his gifts. Just on Christmas. All. Somebody say amen. 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 Wouldn't it be nice to get a Christmas uh, a gift every month? Yes. yes. Instead of just Christmas. Amen. That's why you, you find children so they, they anticipate Christmas so much because they only get something what? Once a year. Now I'm telling my age again, 
uh, 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 Molly, uh, some of you uh, know who are uh, uh, older than me, you know you better wear that one pair of shoes just on Sunday, like that's all you're going to get. Somebody say amen. amen. How dare you tear a hole in your clothes? Somebody say amen. amen. That's the worst whooping you ever got. Amen. And you can go to school with a patch. Amen. But now they buy the clothes all ripped up to work. There you go. Yeah. Amen. And they clap, they looking good. Amen. It was bugged out of house with all kinds of skin showing. <laughs> but it's a change, has it not? Amen. 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 So, so praise God, but, but God will freely give us all his gifts. Yes. Amen. If he didn't spare, so this church here is telling me that, uh, maybe, uh, Pastor Bruce, that if God did not spare his son, uh -huh. with his son, God will freely give us all his gifts. His gifts. That's right. That car is a gift from God. Come on, yeah. The annual green is a gift from God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You have a roof over your head. I don't care what size it is, Amen. how big it is, that is a gift from God. If you don't believe the actor brother out there who don't have nothing. Amen. Say that. Amen. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. Now, let's get into this lesson now. Understand this. All God's gifts are wrapped in Jesus. Oh, yeah. Let's say it together. One, two, three. All of God's gifts are wrapped in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let my have a name above all names. Yes. Let my bring our salvation only in Jesus Christ. Yes. No matter what Oprah says. Amen. Let me say amen. 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 So let's get into this right look at the four things that we'll find, amen, the gifts of God that are wrapped up in Jesus. How many did I say? Four. Okay. Y'all gonna pray with me? Amen. 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 Alright, here we go. Number one, God gives me a what? New life. New life. Let's say it all together. One, two, three. God gives me a what? New life. When we come into Christ, we get a new identity. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. It's sad when people have an identity of you and they think they know all about you. Come on now. They call you names. Well, they look at you funny when you walk up. Mm -hmm. They talk to you when they when they when people think they know you, they talk to you a little different when they don't know you, right? Amen. And some folks really think they say anything they want to to you. All the time. Amen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But the thing about God is, when you come into the house of God and you are saved and born again, God gives you the greatest gift there is, and that is a new identity. Amen. This is my boss. This is one thing. This is my boss says, one thing I'm going to do, uh -huh. I'm going to forget my past. Yeah, amen. So you can bring it up all you want. Uh -huh. Talk about when I lived over here, when I was talking to so and so, when I was doing this, when I was going here, doing that. Uh -huh. Talk about that all you want. Yes. But when I came into Christ, That's right. God gave me a great gift. Amen. And that is a new identity. Amen. Somebody give God a hand for you. Text Corinthians 5 and 17 says, when somebody accepts Christ, uh -huh. he or she become a what? Brand new person. Where? Yeah. I heard the song, Pastor Tom, you heard people say, uh, when, I, when I came up out of water, I felt like new. I looked at my hands and my what? Yeah. My hands looked new. I looked at my feet and my feet looked new. But in reality, you still have those same crusty hands, same crusty feet. <laughs> to my same man. Yeah. That's why it makes it very clear you became a brand new person where? Inside. Inside. Amen. Amen. And how many of you really know that if you can fix your stuff up, lose weight, do all that kind of stuff right, but if you don't change on the inside, that, you feel that cute, that. mean person. Amen. That's right. Come on, say amen. Amen. You still a handsome man with that new haircut, but you still a dog on the inside. Amen. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> telling the truth. Amen. Amen. Well, someone, but, but look, 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 he sat down to the church in the room. He said, when someone accepts Christ, he or she become a brand new person where? Inside. Yes. And he ain't got the same what? Anymore. Yes. Uh -huh. A new life has what? Begun. This is why it's important to come to church. When you make a decision to come to church or come to Christ, amen, you must come and learn about this new life that you're going to do. Amen. Amen. 
Like I'm so many in the church now are messed up, praise God, and doing all kinds of stuff with the Lord because they are not, amen, thought learning how to become a new person. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bush. You said that's the key. Amen. Amen. That's the key. And they won't come to Sunday school. They won't come to Bible study. They won't come anytime, praise God, to learn about the new person. When you set the Christ, you never learn about the new person you're supposed to be. Amen. That's why here, praise God, we never judge you how far you'll come. We celebrate how far you'll come. We won't judge you how far you have to go. Amen. Because we understand there's a process of learning how to yield yourself to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And yield yourself to the new person that God wants you to be. Amen. Amen. You don't throw no baby out. You don't throw no baby out the door just because they mess on themselves. Amen. You clean them up, praise God, put something new on them, and teach them how to do better. The next time you let me know. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I see a lot of head nodding here, man. And that's what it should be for uh, every born again Christian. You gotta understand when they come to Christ, I don't know how old you are, amen. You can get it you start a new life. That's right. Amen. John 8, 31 and 32. And I must say, praise God, me, my wife, uh, Pastor Bruce, uh, Pastor John, to all you who are married and got people in the church, uh, sometimes our uh, brothers and wife will try to use scriptures on you, right? She'll throw them on you. <laughs> she said, I always tell everything, right? <laughs> Amen. She, but I thought, quote, but she quoted this to me, uh, Mr. Moore. She tried to get me. I said, You know who they were, who Jesus was talking to when he said that? <laughs> Because in my mind, I'm going, you, you talk to the wrong one now, baby. You talk to the church. You just go, oh, you ready to die my alley now, Josh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But anyway, praise God. Amen. I just want to share that. We have fun sometimes. Amen. But, uh, but uh, in John uh, 8, chapter, verses 31 and 32, uh,